This is just a quick earth log based on my experiences in the last week. Yes it is rough out there, yes we are all feeling the stress and strain as the old economic system crumbles, but why do we not look within and see where we can change, and not blame the situation out there? Our knee-jerk reaction is to find someone to blame, and yes, I dare say I do it myself when I am not conscious of my own motivations. I can feel the pain out there. I get so many letters from people that range from misery to anger to despair. Some of them like to blame me. Where is it, they say, where is the paradise that you promised us? Hum it is within you, you have to find it there before you can manifest it in the outer world. So, while we are blaming and naming and projecting our anger outwards, we are not doing the work where it needs to be done. And I know we are all going through this, and yes it will get worse probably, until we start to use the spiritual skills and tools that we have been given. And the most important one is the heart. The ugliness that we see outside of ourselves is a reflection of the ugliness that we still carry as a leftover from the time when the mental body and the solar plexus ruled out lives. Unfortunately, the money or economic system was structured under that old energy and it still pulls us into our solar plexus and we get stuck in the old solar plexus energy of fear and lack and anxiety. In the last week, as I have dealt with everyone's complaints and angers, I have had intense pain in the solar plexus. And yes, I know how to deal with it, I was trained to be self-aware and to be able to care for my energy field. But it is not pleasant. I feel how much suffering there is as the old falls away and the new takes its place. We asked for this. We welcomed it. Why are we not embracing it with joy? Why are we stuck in the mental ugliness of fear and stress? Why are we not living from our hearts, with trust? Why can we not see that it is up to us to create from our hearts, we are the light workers, we get to go first. It is up to us to create what we believe in. We need to walk our talk and start to live as if we believed what we embrace as truth and light. Okay, so I will share with you what I have experienced in the last weeks, and I do this with humor, for what else can I do? I am not complaining as such, I am seeing how my creative passion together with my humor will get me through this. So, you might remember the bank story I told you, well that was only a part of it. In November I gave away a large sum of money that I earned through circumstances beyond my control. Then, the company that was managing my credit payments stopped paying my money. I think they were in financial difficulty and they just did not pay. I cancelled them and was able to set up a business account with my bank, but owing to South Africa's financial regulations, it has taken three months to set up. No income for three months and major stress all round. And now, because I am so stressed I cannot cope with the workload, so I get people asking for their money back. Which of course, I do. Even though I have never received their money. So, right now, I am paying our money that I have never received. I am paying people, I am paying people to do my work, so I ask myself, how did that happen, how is it that the flow is now reversed and I am paying our of my pocket to people out there who want their money back. It is beyond ludicrous, it is ugly in a black humor sort of way. Well, the answer is that the economic system has crashed and malfunctioned badly, and despite two months of intensive effort on my part, I have been unable to turn it around. I am not supposed to. I work that out after I nearly wipe myself out working seven days a week to try to get it all to work. So, now Michael says to me, you did what you needed to, now use your heart. Who me? It's not me, it's all of them, out there, did I mention that someone tried to steal my car on Friday as well and destroyed the ignition and now I have no car and expensive repairs. Hmm, ugly indeed, so it's my fault because I am not using my heart. Okay, so this needs some serious thought. So, Michael says, think higher than the solar plexus, think as one. Think from your heart. In the heart, there is only love and no lack and fear. So, says Michael, why not just tell people what you are going through and ask them to understand? Well, I say, the letters they write are so well, unkind and demanding, and I feel they have a right to be angry with me. Well, 
says Michael, is that how you feel about you? Air, yes, it is, actually. I am a perfectionist and I hate to admit that I screwed up and that I was unable to cope. People will never understand. They have their own problems and I let them down. So I have struggled and struggled, and according to Michael I don't need to, if I just use my heart and connect with the hearts of others. That is the fifth dimensional way. But money is a third dimensional medium of exchange. So, we are all needing to begin to see how we can replace money with love. That does not mean that love can pay the bills as such, but love and trust and acceptance will. For the new flows of abundance come from the heart and are motivated by the heart, and money is just the token of exchange for the energy of the heart. Would we want to hurt someone for our heart energy? Would we be mean to them or angry with them for our heart energy? So, why do we do this with and for money? When we have moved fully into the new earth exchange energy, we will be able to flow that energy easily into our lives, from our hearts. It is the new way of living. But, while we are still attached to the energy of the old money system, we will continue to feel anger and stress and despair, for that is what is inherent in that system. The new abundance will be heart-based and loving, and will take the place of the ugly energy of demand and fear that the departing economic system engenders. So, I have decided to stop being a perfectionist and just admit that it is rough out there and in here, and hey, we are all learning as we go along. With love to you all, in the knowledge that these are the birth pangs of a new dawn.